Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxanne. If it's your first time here, then welcome. Um, today, I want to talk to you guys about the books that I'm currently reading and um, a few, just a couple of books that I have acquired um, recently. There were supposed to be a few more books that I acquired, but for some reason, I got uh, Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier. I got Jane Steele and I got... I think I got one more from Book Depository, but for some reason, the post office has not been able to deliver it to my apartment, which has been absolutely ridiculous and so frustrating because we literally get packages all the time, every week, multiple times a week sometimes, and literally every single apartment here gets gets packages, so I don't, I really don't understand what is going on. I'm double, triple, quadruple checked the address, but... Um, so I'll probably show them off at some other point. Um, USPS said that they're sending back, that they are shipping back to sender. So I emailed, um, book depository saying, you know, can I get a refund when you receive that back? And I don't know, I just have to buy the books somewhere else or try a different time. But I'm afraid now to buy things from book depository. And I've bought the things from book depository before. Um, for the, and that have arrived at this apartment, so I really don't understand what happened. So, that's kind of been a bummer. But, um, yeah, so I uploaded my nonfiction uh, November TBR, um, and I'll link that up above and down below as well if you haven't been able to check it out yet. But there are a few books that I'm currently reading and that I will probably um, go into no to November. So there will be non nonfiction uh, books that I'll be reading in November as well although I will be prioritizing nonfiction I believe it's that's kind of what I'm in the mood for right now too um, so the book first book that I'm currently reading and I might actually finish this um, right now it's a Sunday the 29th I might finish this by the 31st and it is things we lost in the fire stories by Mariana Enriquez um, I am 82 pages into this one and overall I'm enjoying it. There are some stories that I like more than others. I read this um, mostly during the week of the autumn readathon. Uh, I wasn't successful in finishing any books but um, I got yeah, like 82 pages into this one and I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully I can finish it soon. I am also reading House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielski um, and I'm not very far into this one. I am 53 pages into this one. I'm really enjoying it. There's like it's like a story within a story within within a story almost. It's it's a very weird, but um it's like experimental literature, but I'm enjoying it. Um and I've gotten a few messages of of, of people on on social media that's like good luck with that book or or that book's got the shit out of me, so um, read it during the day and things like that, which have been really funny and, and fun to receive. So, um, I'm also reading, rereading Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith. I have been listening to this on audiobook and I'm probably like 60% of the way through. I have to check because I've pretty much only been listening to it on audiobook, so I have to see how, um, like how it correlates with what page I'm in. So, I have to have to see but i'm enjoying this one this is my favorite of the three with regards to um the characters and what what happens to to our main characters so i'm i'm excited for that one i'm enjoying it and then last but not least is special topics in calamity physics by marisha pestle author of the night film which i really enjoyed and i am 59 pages into this one so i started to read this early in october and just really didn't actually I think I started reading that in September and I just haven't really picked it up again um so I hope I'm hoping to finish that one in October um I'm hoping to finish all of the or not October I'm hoping to finish all of these at least definitely by in, in November's end um because I have a lot of really fun reads that I'm super excited for really chunky reads that I'm excited for in December and so I want to focus all my attention on those and I'll talk to you guys about those later in November um, and so for the two books that I have been able to acquire, I actually have two more that I, that I have physically acquired, but I will show those to you in my next New York Bookstores episode, which I'm super excited about. So I'll show you those there. But I was able to um, get two 
books this month. One was actually actually came to me in a really exciting way. I logged into my uh, booktube email, my I guess bookish email this past week, and I had an email from from someone at Book of the Month that said, "You've just congratulations, you've won three three free months of Book of the Month," and I was like. I was shocked and then I thought it might be not legit so I did some research and um, it was legit and I got my first book. So the first book that I picked was, actually it's still in its packaging, it's Manhattan Beach. Um, and actually let me open it out of here by Jennifer Egan. And I love how, I love the like size and, and how how they're published, the book of the month the editions. The little, the judge, the judge's description here says, Dive right into this dazzling novel, rich in historical detail and full of unforgettable characters. If you're like me, you won't want to come up for air until you're done. And so that sounds awesome. And I'm just very excited. It's historical fiction. And I think it's like also about families and kind of like a coming into yourself, maybe coming of age story. So here you go. I'm super excited for this one and I might dive into it um maybe december or come january and so here's the little it was kristen everson with the judge and book of the month so i will use this as a bookmark Super excited. and the second book that i've got that i'm going to show you guys is this silent massive beauty right here called Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and it's the illustrated edition, illustrated by Jim K, by J.K. Rowling, and I haven't looked into the illustrations yet because I like to see them for the first time as I'm reading it, so there's this one, look at it, it's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. I'm, this is my favorite in the series because it's actually the first book that I read in the series, so it has a lot of like sentimental value for me, um, so I will probably pick that up in December. I'm super excited for it. So those are the books that I'm currently reading and the books that I have acquired. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought about them. Let me know what you're currently reading. Let me know if you are collecting the illustrated editions of Harry Potter. I certainly am. Um, I think History of Magic was actually just released as well. Might, maybe in, in, in an illustrated edition. So I, I want to get that. And I just, I just can't wait. I love them. I look forward to them every single year. And then I read them the like following month or two and it's just so much fun and they're so beautiful i love them so thank you for watching and for listening i love you guys as always and as i have been doing information down below on puerto rico and mexico and um natural disasters and how you can donate thank you so much for watching and for listening love you guys